every murder of a child breaks up a family that was once a happy home. A home where people used to love. A home where people make jokes in. Becomes a graveyard. Becomes silence. And I was thinking, they stab him, he was just by me. A few hours ago, how can they stab my son? And you know, and suddenly, I look at my husband and my husband say, he's no more with us. We had 10 attempted murders in October. We had um, three murders. In November, we had 16 attempted murders and eight murders. In December, we had 12, 13 attempted murders and six murders. Till up last night, we had a murder in Hanover Park. So our people in Hanover Park is living in fear at this moment. You don't see children playing around with balls or any game because children need to look out for their lives. Families need to look out because the bullets is coming into their houses where they sit and watch TV in their comfort zones in Hanover Park. And it's more about drugs. It's more about turfs. It's more about leadership. They want to take over leadership. And how can they take over leadership if the community shall govern? You can never take over a community, whoever gangster you are. It's challenging for our youth especially because they're growing up in this environment not knowing if they will even be alive tomorrow, you know, and then even the fact that a, a, a mother has to send a school child to school, it's so hard because they don't even know if the, the child's going to come safe at school, you know, and that is the challenge that our, our people is facing on a daily basis. Something that's supposed to be normal but it's actually abnormal in our situations. We're looking at the shot spotter, we're looking at the CCTV cameras, we're looking at that extra policing, and we're seeing that it's not, it's not curbing the crime in the area. Instead, crime has actually risen since the launch of the LEAP offices, since the launch of the shot spotter and CCTV cameras. So once we engage with community and then we realize that the real issues that is causing the crime is actually the poverty, um, school dropouts, and that is actually where the millions need to be invested in.